Hey, we're going to tie an ultra malicious steelhead tube. Uh, this one has got, it's got tiger stripes, uh, hot pink over peach. Um, really nice looking uh, steelhead fly tied on a tube. And you're going to get to see it up close and personal. All right, this is my model. It's an ultra malicious steelhead tube. Tube fly, tied on a Pro Sport Fisher tube. You can see in here, we've got some of these little ball's eyes hidden under there. They don't have to stay hidden. This, this helps get the fly down. Uh, penetrates the water nicely, not too heavy, won't hang up. Uh, now this is tied on a uh, classic tube. We'll get that off. Here's my Flexi needle. Uh, these, the, the I use. I'm using an orange on this one. It's the piece is normally about eh, three times long, and I have my hook guard. Um, I'm using a piece that I cut off from a 40-40 tube, and uh, I'm going to pull an OPST hook right into this back end. If I want to use a a stinger hook with a loop knot, I'd pull it into the orange tube. Let's get started here. I'm using a flat waxed 210 denier. Hope I don't get my shoulder in the way here. Thread. It's about how long am I going to want to make this? I'm going to want to make it about that long. Okay. I can sort of remember that. Let's get a little bit of Loctite on for a base. I'll try to get this out here so I remember about how long I'm going to make it. Whoa! Now for body, I'm going to use some but this fly, what's this fly? It has nothing to do with this. Use some mini flat braid peachy pearl. You see that? Get it on here. We could tie this same fly on a uh, on a shank. You know, say no PST shank or a Senyo shank or Waddington or we could use our own spinner wire. I didn't leave a gap there, did I? No, I don't. I wouldn't do that. Now, you know, silly me, I shouldn't have started this yet. Here's why. Let's get my eyes. Put them right here. Here now these uh, these balls eyes are kind of uh, they're an ex I call them an extended hourglass shape. It's the portion in the middle is kind of long. Now by the way, if you get too in in too enthusiastic lashing down your eyes, you have a hard time getting your tube. Don't glue the braid to your fingers, Jay. Have a hard time getting the tube off the mandrel. I was teaching class one time, and one of the students tied a quite reasonable tube fly. Their first couldn't get it off the tube. Had to wind up cutting the whole thing with a razor blade. That was too bad. Now I have. Uh, oh, I got lucky. Um, so this is actually a craft fur brush. I had um, I had I had planned on using a um, a what? I planned on using a Senyo's chromatic brush in uh, the live bait color, but guess what? This white on white craft fur brush is going to do very nicely. 
It's also you know, an example of how you can, you can find other alternatives. Now, one of the fun things about working with these brushes is avoiding wrapping down too many fibers. You also notice I crisscross there. I don't always do that. I don't even know why I did it this time. I usually don't. It's fun to do things a little bit differently. Now, you know, of course, if I was going to put a wing on this, I wouldn't put the wing on this side because those eyes are going to rotate the fly over. Since I'm, I don't have a wing on here, I'm not going to have a wing. It's just fine. I can. Bleh! Got that craft for brush stuck right in my. Mmm. Now I'm eating a little bit of craft fur. That's just delightful. Oh well. Uh, could be worse. Could be natural bucktail. Mmm. Be quite tasty. This could be a really nice. Call this a squid pattern. Call it a shrimp pattern. Um. Oh, you know what I did? I forgot to put my rabbit strip in there. I wonder if I could add it right now. Let's, uh, okay, let's see if we can salvage this. I normally put my rabbit strip underneath. I did before. Well, let's, uh, Let's see you're going on and you're just, instead of being a super fly tire that never makes mistakes, you go on and you go, wow, forgot my rabbit strip. No, so here's what, you gotta be smart. Let's put the eyes down. So great, I got these balls eyes on. Look, they forgot to have the pupil on this side. So let's give it a pupil. There we go. This could be a fun video. So, um, one thing I want to do here is keep this tie-in quite small. So I'm trimming a little bit. I don't want a lot of bulk up here. I just want to barely be able to capture that. Now, that's going to be really tough. And I'm going to put a little bit of soup glue on there to make sure it stays tough. Now, I'm going to add a where on earth are my hackles? Here they are. I think I want a shrimp pink schlappen feather. Shrimp pink schlappen. Now on this fly, I had my wrap strip underneath. I had a fairly narrow schlappen hackle. I'm going to use a slightly wider one here and see how it looks. Now one of my biggest challenges here, I'm, I'm not at this point planning on putting a cone in front of this to finish it. So I don't want to have a lot of thread build up at the front of this fly. Whoops. So let's see if I can get this. I know it's going to have a lot of wiggle. And I know fish are going to be just fine. I'm 
folding the hackle there. My handy CNF hackle pliers. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna want to try to finish this hackle right out here. I, like I say, I, I want a nice neat head. I'm gonna pull that hackle underneath. Two, three. Got some little fuzzy fibers there. Okay, now I want, I don't want to tangle these last few fibers. Also don't want to get them matted down with super glue. So let's, so it's going so far, going good so far. One, two, I could have had three in there, I don't know. Excuse me. One, two, three. Okay, looks just right. One, two, three. Okay. Now let's give this another touch of super glue. So I like the way this looks. Uh, my hook's gonna be right about here, so it's not going to foul on the strip. So underneath view, other side view. Well, let's finish this fly off. Let me Cut my tube. Nice thing about Loctite is it doesn't catch fire like your... You don't really have to do this, but I do anyway. And that opening is... Nice and open. Let's get it back on the mandrel here. So, I think maybe I like this, maybe I like that better. Let's look at this one. Here's the other one. Your choice, you tie in the strip first, then you wrap the collar, or you tie the collar first and then wrap in the strip. They're both gonna work really well. Have fun with this. Get out there, catch the eye. And if you really get down to it, you can finish this head off a little bit more tightly than I have. Don't get, you don't want to obsess about these things though. Haha. -ha. Thank you.